Channel. Good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1377th edition of Short Term Trading, live with Oscar Carboni, and of course, that would be me. Good evening, traders. This 1377th edition of these educational videos is coming to you on a Thursday night for trading, Friday, September 25th. 2015. The view I'm about to show you in this video is likely something larger than just trading for September 25th, 2015. I think you're going to like the chart segment. I'm going to get into it very quickly for you. Remember that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, is not suitable for all traders, and you've got to have risk capital literally to lose if you're going to play this game because, boy, is it risky with this volatility lately. Always put your stops in and always put them in first. What is on the board? So, the presentation coming at you on September 25th, or really Thursday night foot trading, September 25th, a couple of things on the board. A flag is a flag is a flag, and a round of applause for that. In my last three, four, five videos, I have shown you flags and kept you focused on where this market should go technically, and it has gone there. Bravo for the technical analysis, right? Very nice. Here is the big question, and I doubt if it's a question because I'm going to show you that obviously it's not. Before I get into what's on the board number two here, let me just say that my, I have a daughter now, second year in college, when she was starting high school six years ago, I told her, I want you to learn Chinese. If you think you're going to do business in this country in 25 years, you'll need to know Chinese or you're not doing any business here. Now, I don't know if that's literal. Of course, I don't expect it to be that literal, but I was trying to make a point that you are going to have to do a lot of business with Chinese if you're going to do business at all in our future. So I told that to her literally six years ago. Interesting, she takes my advice, she goes to first week in high school, actually first month in high school, she's taking Chinese. It's a difficult course, but she's taking it. As it turns out, her instructor gets deported for having a faulty visa. They cancel the class, she doesn't take Chinese. Well, let's fast forward just six years later. I have a question for you. Has China already become the dictator of global economic policy? Has China already become the dictator of global economic policy? I believe the age is here. I thought it would take 25 more years before what China did affected every country on the planet just like that. Basically how the U.S. Fed has been for the last you know, 50 years. If the Fed does anything, the rest of the world feels it. Well, there's never been another entity that if they made a move, we would feel it so dramatically, but I believe... China has already become the dictator of global economic policy. I'm going to show you a few charts right now that will probably prove that to you. What I will tell you before we do the chart segment is here's some advice. If you've got kids going to high school, tell them to take Chinese. I'm telling my two that haven't made it to high school yet, you better take Chinese. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, E-mini S&P daily bar chart. Each one of these little green lines represents one day's worth of trading. I've been showing you the big bear flags and telling you that a flag means that we should go down and we will go down. I have been steadfast. I've kept you focused on it. And look at how down we've come so far. So, as if it were scripted, right? Good stuff. Let's look. That's S&P. NASDAQ, same thing. Remember that weird, ugly bear flag? It has started producing. And I think this is another little bear flag building right here. Let's see if that's going to continue to push us lower. But let's get this out of the way because here's the really important thing I wanted to show you, traders. Here's something very interesting. Has China already become the dictator of global economic policy? You know what this is right here? This represents when China devalued the yuan. Now look, here we are trudging, trudging along in our S&P, la la la, having a good old time going up this column, up, 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 we're inside of this nice pattern right here, right, call it a parallel channel. Here we are having a great time, putting in a little bit of a flat top, and then China devalues the yuan right here, 
And look what happens to our market. Well, bam. And I went, hmm. That's right when China devalued. So it wasn't just a, oh my goodness, China devalued, everybody panics. It turned out to also then be a bear flag, which is now breaking down to the downside. So it turned out to be something real. China devalued, look what happened to our market. All right, so that's the U.S. Let's see if this holds anywhere else. German DAX, China devalued right here. Look what the DAX did ever since. Bang, bang. This puts in a little bear flag. The market dumps into this major bear flag. Market dumps lower than that and continues on all the way to here. Look at where China devalued the Juan. So you've got the U.S., you've got Europe. Look at this. We're not done yet. Very interesting. Japanese market. Of course, you'd expect that to get to get influenced, but right here on that the highest day of the Nikkei, China devalued the Juan, and look what happened. Smackdown into a flag. Another smackdown. My goodness, has China already become the dictator of economic policy around the globe? I think that this picture says yes. Then there's gold. A lot of you have been asking me, Oscar, am I going to get back into gold? What are we going to do with gold? Well, as it turns out, if you remember, we had our little loss over here when we got short and it went up a little bit. So we've built a bull flag since, has broken out of the bull flag, and us Omniacs have sidestepped these last couple of days for this reason. Remember that it never tends to stay above this average, except for a few times only, for more than one day without heading right back down. One day heads 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 back down. Heads back down. This one stayed up for a few days, then headed back down. So here we are, we're one day above the average. We are going to sidestep it and watch, and if it becomes bullish, Omni will be glad to go long. If we fail here and start to turn around, and that's what has happened every time we've hit this average, except for this one time, you will find us selling it once again. So we're going to sidestep it and find out if this is going to be good for a long or a short. So sidestep for now, okay? And we'll pick this up again on Sunday night and Monday. Now, one more interesting tidbit on this gold chart. See this spot right here? Guess what this is? China devalued the Juan right at this spot. And look at what gold has done since. Has China become the leader or the dictator of global economic policy? Very interesting, isn't it? Pull your own charts, do your own analysis. I'll see you all at LiveWithOscar.com. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts now. What do you think? What, what's your answer? Do you think China has already become the dictator of global economic policy? From what I just showed you, to my surprise, I think we're living the age already. I never expected it to come this fast. I don't know where it goes from here, but I, think, I found that very interesting, and I thought I'd share it with you. As far as the gold's concerned, you know, that showed you a little bit of bottom action as soon as they devalued the Juan. So that affected as well, right? Europe affected, U.S. affected, Japan affected, the whole Pacific Rim affected, gold affected. When did China become the United States? Wow! So, hey, whatever. Teach your kids to learn Chinese, learn how to use chopsticks, and come on down to LiveWithOscar.com. Come hang out with me in my chat room. We're going to start off the session tomorrow as a seller of rallies in E-mini, S&P, and NASDAQ. Sidestep the gold and see what's going to happen. I showed you the chart, and we'll go from there. LiveWithOscar.com. Come join me in my free trading room. Grab your membership, your platinum membership, if you'd like to trade with the Omni, Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator. If you'd like to trade the Omni signals, I send them out to you direct daily, evening, night, morning. I don't care when it is. You will hear from me if the market sets up. So come on down once again to livewithoscar.com. Grab yourself a membership and allow me to help guide you through these rough and tumble markets. All right, traders, that's about it. I want to get out of here. Remember... Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop talking.
Emotions are out. Oh, rock and roll traders, I'll see you all at live with Oscar.com. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.